Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on the Twitter here. On this Monday evening, we're back in action. I'm back to it. I've been gallivanting and had some other things going on, but I sat through the majority of a Monday Night Raw, and I'm ready to talk about it with you guys, including those on the line with me this week. Uh, sorry for the lateness. We had a little bit of technical glitches for you guys joining us on the Facebook Live, where you guys can join us uh, just mere moments, minutes or, or a few um, after uh, Monday Night Raw goes uh, off air, at least here on the East Coast on uh, on the on the on our Facebook page for a Wrestling Mayhem show. But with me, he is the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the May- from the WWE. He is Mad Mike in Poughkeepsie, New York. Sorg, um, I may not be so mad about Raw tonight. What? I may not be. I, I don't know. Wow, I think I know why. I think it was. Ah. I think is it is it uh, maybe a certain peace officer that was. But we'll get into that. We'll get into that. No, no, it's just that my ears aren't bleeding. Oh, oh. Also with us, also from the. Uh, well, I don't know, but exactly, but the Greater Pittsburgh area. You see him in the chat room. <laughs> we 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 we've, we've mentioned him lots on the show over the months and months. Dave Potter joins us for I think the first time ever on a Mayhem show. Yeah, thanks for having me on, guys. As part of the the new Mayhemer initiative, uh, when we thought Mad Mike was going away, we we touched, reached out to a lot of the people that were in the chat room, um, and 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 wanted to get some new faces on here. And thank you, Dave, for coming on. Well, glad to be here. And since a certain individual was not on Raw tonight, I would say the word tonight. Why, you know. Dave, you were in a good mood. I, I, really I wanted good to mood like you. you. I even had a good tagline for you that I was about to say. Oh, and now you know, everyone. you know, you don't even get it. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. There was a little. Uh, gar- unfortunately, I had to put you guys on the secondary laptop because some technical issues. Can you can you say that again? Because it got a little garbled on this end. Don't don't say it again. <laughs> 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 don't say it again. Don't say it again. That, oh, that's for the. That's that's for the Facebook people. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, well, apparently just for the hangout people. But anyways, it was Monday Night <laughs> Raw. It was interesting. It was fun to watch tonight. We got a lot of our wrestling in there. We got a lot of other stuff going on. But uh, I, I, again, I wanted to go to. We have another. <laughs> the cats are the cats are yeah, we, we, behind they, they're, they're, they're not finished with wrestling for the night. They, 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 they were so hot before we're all oh, they're not I, done. I wish I had the camera on that one. That was pretty <laughs> no, amazing to no, watch on the like, monitor. My, my my girlfriend has two cats. I, I can I know that pain. I know <laughs> that pain right there. Mm. They look very similar to my girlfriend's cats too. That's terribly frightening. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But tonight we got the debut of Constable Corbin. Um <sighs> I'm I'm going to be calling him Mayor McCheese from now on. Ah, yes, yes. I actually had I had, I wanted to backtrack for this one, um, and and I wanted to determine. I, I actually looked up uh, Constable, just to mm-hmm. be sure. I was like, is it is this what I think it is? Because why did we've had a sheriff? Somebody brought up. Uh, well, think of Larry. Larry was watching the latter part of Raw, and I was kind of trying to catch him up with things. And um, um, you know. You know, he's like, is that like Sheriff Austin? I'm like, yeah, pretty much. Uh, but it's for those that don't know, less charismatic. Those that don't know, uh, so Ste- Stephanie uh, uh, put him in there as a what was it? A a checks and balances system, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, a constable, a peace officer with limited policing authority, typically in a small town, like the small town of WWE Raw, uh, or the gov- the governor of a royal castle. So we're going with a one for this one. So I mean, you know, there was some Bobby F J Town gave him a hat uh, for his entrance on on our Twitter account, and we had a little bit of fun with um, that. But anyways, uh, <laughs> by the way, um, now that he's a constable, he needs to add a second R in his first name. 
so we can just call him Baron Corp. Baron. Baron. Ah. I thought that's only one R. No, no, that's two R's. Is it? Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. no. Actual Trust Baron, me. Baron. Trust me. Simpsons and the Beer Baron. Ah. Yeah. Right. So do we really need another authority figure, especially such a lone wolf, <laughs> that now gets to yell at referees with some authority? I mean, if we get less stuff and we can actually get a performer on air instead of it all being about stuff, even yeah. though he's kind of her mouth teeth, I, I, I honestly, he was not that bad tonight. Mm-hmm. There were, there were other parts of the show that I just groaned about and the same parts of the show. I think we've all been growing about groaning about for the last two, was it three, four weeks now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't I, mind Baron. I, I just wish it was someone who was slightly more charismatic than Baron Corbin. Well, I, I you know what he he's he's really good at being an asshole. Like you know who it should be? It should be Sami Zayn. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it should be Sami Zayn. But like Sammy God bless Sammy. He's trying so damn hard. I know. And he needs so, to be rewarded. He's, for he's this. so good at what he's been given. But what he's being given is so bad. But man, he's selling like and 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 I I have enough of Bo- have him, him doing this and Bobby Lashley just smiling like a goof in the ring and not taking anything seriously. Uh, you know, he looks like he, he Yeah, I I don't know. It's I, I it's just going to end up hopefully more than just Bobby thumping him into the ground at uh, Money in the Bank. Uh like I hope there's something fun that happens there, but I'm not looking. I'm not expecting it, right? Um, I don't think anyone is. No, no, no. Um, no. It's like they have no idea what to do with Bobby Lashley. They really, it's. it's... I guarantee they just brought him in so he could do a one-off match with Brock Lesnar, and so... then, and then, apart from that, they're like, "Oh, he's gonna be working all the time." <laughs> Ooh, shit. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I thought he was doing good we, in Impact We only wrestling. know how to book people who wrestle once every three months. Is I he, don't. Is I he don't the get first this. one that that like that had a hot run? In, okay, had a run in Impact Wrestling and came <laughs> over. <laughs> what was, was that? Course correction is everything. <laughs> was that Dave? Well, it did, I haven't. I never. I didn't watch Impact that much. My sanity is needed. Um, was Drew in Impact or was he in Roy, Ring of Honor? Drew was in Impact. He was in Impact. Well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. boy, how that team has. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yet I still feel better than McIntyre's first run. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, more significant than. Why Red- did he leave NXT? Yeah, that was I, he should have been there a little bit longer. Why did he yeah. leave NXT? Uh, the, for this, I know. Um, I don't know why the like attaching your sail to the ship of Dolph Ziggler <laughs> is like <laughs> is like boarding the Titanic. Who's supposed to be helping not, who? Not only not only after it's hit the iceberg. I'm talking. After it's vertical. <laughs> That's when Drew jumped on and was yeah. like, yeah, you know, this is the ship I want to be sailing on, guys. <laughs> and, and honestly, after Dolph was eliminated tonight, I, I wanted Drew to look around, get a look on his face like, what did you do to me? And just start and just take him out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, 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 I just I yeah. want Drew to be a dominant either heel or face something on his own but not that he should with his little to, buddy should have gone to smackdown then and then uh, he went and then he imagine, went from imagine if imagine if we changed drew and big Cass. <sighs> yeah. just imagine yeah. if we swap yeah. those guys and we have drew mcintyre versus daniel bryan on smackdown <sighs> and Dolph <sighs> with big Cass, which makes more sense because Dolph is at least a better enzo uh, the Tina says the only thing that was cool about Drew's run as uh, the chosen one was the entrance theme. Yes, 
And I uh, can't wait. Uh, Wrestling Mayhem. I don't know who's logged in as Wrestling Mayhem show. Can't wait for the day when Drew kills Dolph. Uh, it's inevitable, I, right? I think that's just the show as a whole trying to will that into existence. <laughs> Facebook, the show, yeah. Facebook has the algorithm that has mapped all of our, our thoughts and just put that out there. <laughs> because yeah. it's not wrong at all. Um, Jeez. Skynet's taken over. Almost, and even they don't like Dolph Ziggler. Also tonight, I was super pleased to see Elias starting the show. Oh, God, I can't wait till he wins the belt. He better win the <laughs> oh, belt at this God, point, right? Oh, God, win that fucking belt. I mean, and even if, if he doesn't immediately, this better be a feud, and it, it can be amazing. Sorg, Sorg, do you know what's going to be so great? The Raw after he wins the title, when he just does a complete acapella version of We Are the Champions. <laughs> Someone's going to have to pay for that. I don't care. I don't care. Like, Stone Cold did it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Stone Cold true. did it. it. It's fine. If he says, I am the champion, it doesn't matter. That's right. Mechanical licenses are a lot cheaper. So, um, I think I, I think they just changed that, actually. Who knows? Thank you, Mickey Mouse. Uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm, welcome, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure those are related. Uh, they're both copyrights, right? Also tonight, and, and that, that led to a good match. You know, I, I just want, like... I tweeted this. I want sh- uh, Elias, not his old name, and Gender <laughs> to be like a tag team as the Beard Brothers because they're both got some good ge- beard oh, game going. There on. are way too many people with beards on Raw for That's them right, to be John. the Beard Brothers. John says heavy metal Jesus Elias. Yes, thank you. That's exactly. I think I went through all of those in my head <laughs> until I got around to it. So, um, yeah, I, I, I was I was flashing back because I was I was trying to craft a tweet tonight about. Uh, um, old school Elias before he was Elias and Permantes back in the day with IWC. But it, it, so it's all mushed up in my head right now. Um, no, good stuff there. Uh, then we got Kurt Hawkins for some reason. Sorg, Sorg. You've, you've neglected the best thing on Raw. I'm I'm going down the list. No, <laughs> you have neglected the best thing on Raw, and it started with the very tip top of the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, he's Sorg. back from making a movie. Sorg. David... Bless you, Otanga. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know. Guys. I don't I don't you know. know. Like I, I'm hoping and we were in Houston. Booker T could have walked to the arena. He could have. He could have taken a moped over. Who knows? He he could have he could have taken an Uber there. I love the like, idea in my head of, of Booker T on a moped rolling through Houston, by the way. Yeah, it, it's it's the remake of We Go and Get You Sucker. But like David Otunga just brought, like, such a new voice onto Raw because it's someone who knows the product and is not an idiot. I, uh, I, I, I don't like Otunga on commentary. Sword, you can die in a fucking fire. Wow. <laughs> Wow! Ooh, I'm joking. I that, that really like, quickly. Given sword, the Byron sword. and the coach options, I'll take sword. any of them over over Otunga. No, Sorg, you are you are you are dead wrong on this. <laughs> I am dead wrong. You're, you're also, dead wrong. maybe you're, not you're... mining Josh Matthews these days on Impact. See, this is why you fail, Sorg. This is see, Sorg. Josh Matthews has corrupted you. You have gotten you. That you have gotten used to it shitty was commentary. It kind of funny the Brian Cage thing when he was talking about. I don't think I've ever been swole, sh- sir. You have gotten used to shitty commentary, and now you are accepting less. Mm, but but we got Cyrus David Otunga is the commentary choice but, we need. But Don Callis, man, Don Callis can suck a dick. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, no, Don Don Callis. He, Don, yeah. Callis. Don Callis is great. Yeah. All right. Whatever. But this is not the Impact Show. This no, is the... it's not because we're never having that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think there's. A, I think there's a place for it. Maybe not. Okay, that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I thought Otunga was okay, but mm-hmm. nothing that really stood out that much. That's the point, though. Well, there was nothing that stood out good or bad. I'm okay with that. Just three I'd guys. Absolutely... Just three guys that blend into the background. Yes, that's what commentaries are supposed to do. 
That's if because the more you notice it's commentary, the soundtrack. The, no, but it's exactly it's a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. You notice when it sounds shitty. You it, notice it, when it's bad. If if all the tongue is doing is just filling in wah 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 noise in the background, <laughs> we can get we can get by with two people on the commentary. Can he just we, do that? Can he just go well, wah, we, wah wah wah? The we can get by wah, with wah. two people on commentary anyway. Well, well, yeah, just, yeah. If it was just Cole and Corey, I'd be okay with that. Who too. do you yeah. think's gonna win Money in the Bank? Wah 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 wah. Good answer. But <laughs> but, but I have to say, <laughs> for someone not named Corey Graves, David Otunga handed. Woken Matt Hardy, the best of anyone on the announced team. Okay. Because he, like, treated it with a certain sense of, oh, I'm not sure what Matt's talking about, but he also didn't put down the product. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it's supposed to be, as opposed to Michael Cole, who is just reading Vince McMahon's thoughts on the idea. Booker T was like, what the hell is this? And they say, that boy's crazy. <laughs> no one cares, Booker. And then Coach <laughs> will make some reference to the 86 Golden State Warriors that no one fucking knows about and isn't pertinent anyway because I don't even know if they were a team then. Hey, hey, you know what? I need to step back a second and call <laughs> out the fact that I think there was a sports ball joke being made with that in yeah, young indie wrestler that was fighting for tacos tonight. Um, and it oh, completely yeah, they went over was. my head because I'm like, what the fuck? Sword, talking like, sword, like it's, it's, it's that point where everybody pauses for the cameo that I don't know who the fuck it is. Sorg, um, James Harden, okay, is, is a player for the Houston Rockets, okay. He is also a very large black man, okay. That was the joke. This is, and he was none of those things, <laughs> he was none of those things. Okay. The only, the only similarity is they had a beard and they happened to be to have performed in the same arena at one time. Uh, and by the way, Alex, seven game series. <laughs> oh, is that thing still going on? I yeah, think that, sure. Did the, the Caps? Did, the Caps have blown a three one lead before. Did the Caps win tonight? Is that over yet? Yeah, they they won tonight, but they haven't won the cup yet. Oh, okay. Right, uh, acting like they have. I don't know. Somebody somebody talking about comic books said the series was over, so I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, Tina said James Harden was Will Lockhart, a student of Booker's. There you go. Of course. At least he's saying Thanks. his talent over. At least they can make it across on the moped. I I'm I'm very glad I'm very grateful Booker didn't. Very grateful. Yes. Um other than that, we had a lot of women's wrestling tonight. We had uh the the the, the handicap match. We had um the the, the Nia Jax Natalia uh uh Ronda Hurt triangle happening. Uh, we have Ronda really showing she should not go on commentary. Mm. So yeah, this, yeah. this might be a tough sell for you. The... Rhonda said one joke on commentary. You mean the joke she said twice? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I was I was gonna say okay. she said one joke before we went to break, <laughs> and the same joke after we came back for the break, and neither time it was really that good, um, because one of the commentaries said that Natty was ripe for the picking. Which is an expression a commentator would normally use to someone who's injured. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, Rhonda said, that's what my husband says about me. And that is probably super not okay. That's really weird. Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's definitely not PG. I'm pretty sure if I, <laughs> if, if I said to any woman that they were ripe for the picking, I'd get kicked in the dick. I don't know. I don't know what that means in your household, but for the rest of America, that's weird. Yeah, uh, and somebody it, should it tell reminded Rhonda. me. It reminded me of uh, the beginning of the movie Face Off, <laughs> where Nicholas Cage said plump pickings, and I could eat a peach for hours. That's that. That's not good. Things didn't end up well for that young man. Jeez. Um. From that, hey, we did have a chat, uh, uh, a comment. Larry is in there. He's actually in the studio, but he's joining us in chat, so thank you for that. Uh, uh, Matthews is the next Tom Phillips. Or was Tom Phillips the next Matthews? Nope. Tom Phillips was the next Matthews, technically. Technically. But What's that? Matthews is the next Tom Phillips. You realize he's been, like, the SmackDown commentator before, right? I was right? going to say, Josh no? Matthews. Like, teaming Josh up Matthews with Taz. Like and WWE, no, no like... that's not. That's what? That was Michael Cole. No, 
Well, no, it, no, well, Josh Matthews him too, but Josh no. Matthews commentated at WrestleMania 26. You do have yeah. the network, right? You can check ago. this. <laughs> he may not have the network anymore. He might not. He might not. <laughs> by, by the way, um, there, Sorg, there is a very important thing in the chat room. <laughs> Alex, Alex, you and I may disagree sports ball wise, but yes, one more week until Lucha Underground. There you go. That's that's the moral of the story. Well, yes. the moral is how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight, Dave. Let's go first. Let's get your <sighs> unfiltered, un 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 uncooked, uncooked uncensored, uncensored uncut. uninfluenced opinion, Dave. Uh, let's go. I mean, the last match was good even though I liked it better when it was Beast in the East and NXT. Um, let's go hour and a half, hour 45. Okay. Okay. All right. What about yeah, you, Mike? That, um, three hours of it was listenable. Listenable. Uh, listenable. <laughs> okay. Okay. And the listenable. watchable? Uh, watchable, I'll go about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, uh, three hours, hour and a half. So, so that averages to about a, a two ten, I think. No, 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 no. I'm not averaging. No, there's no averaging. <laughs> okay. There's okay. no averages. Uh, no averages. Something being listenable does not mean it's watchable, Sorg. Right. So if you're, so if you're watching with one eye open, it'd be two hours and ten minutes. Sorg, if I was watching with one eye open, that eye would have closed at the hour and a half that wasn't watchable. Because I would have fallen asleep. Look away, child. Look away. That hour three is tough <laughs> to watch. Wow. Did you just bring up another Nicolas Cage quote? <laughs> I did, didn't I? From Kick-Ass? Well played. Well played, Big Daddy Sorg. I'm going to go with a solid two hours. Um, I see what we're doing, but, man, the Ronda Nia Jack is... Jack stuff is awkward. Can, can we talk yeah. about Nia Jax for a second? Just a moment. Yes, yes. What did they do with her? What did they do to her? They scarred she her. Spent, she spent two months being bullied by Alexa Bliss. Yes. She spent mm -hmm. one week last week bullying someone. Well, Mike, this is a classic story because what happens <coughs> when that kid has been bullied in school all of a sudden finds himself with those superpowers, right? Um, it, Yeah, it's Spider-Man, and he doesn't bully anyone. Oh, no, 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 not that one. Not the Spider-Man one. I mean, Oh, I'm like, sorry. I, I thought you meant a good classic story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody else that Spider-Man has to put down. They weren't bullies. I can't, Otto Octavius was not a bully. I can't think of a good a good one right now. Sorg, you are Ooh, not going to that top movie. Me on Man that movie this. from the guy, uh, what was it called? Continuum. The guy that did the really bad Fantastic Four movie. That's one of them, but that's not one of the classics. Josh Trank? Yes. Really? Wow, you remember you remember the director, but not the movie. No, the movie is um. Is it in Continuum? Fuck. No, it's not Continuum. It's um well, those lost lost footage like no, it, it, it has movies. it has Dale DeHaan from uh from um Amazing Spider-Man Two. Oh, wow! Who played Harry Osborn? I can't think of the name because I really never made the movie. that. Never made that. It's Chronicle. Chronicle, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one, and that's a good movie. That's, but Sword, that's not Sword. Jacks. Sorg, your your analogy falls apart there too because two out of three of those guys didn't bully anyone. No, but the one did, and that's the one on the that's side. That's because Jackson. he was being a. The other ones are Oscar. <laughs> uh, no one's ready for Chronicle. Oscar. No, nobody <laughs> was. Nobody was ready for that Fantastic Four either. Jeez. Uh, but anyways, Dave Potter, <laughs> yeah, where can people find yeah. you online? Do you have anything right. to plug? Dave, Dave, hold on, hold on. Yes. I, 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 You've earned your tagline. Oh. Dave, thank you for putting the pod in podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we work it in somewhere. Yes. Yeah. I got it right at the end. Well, my, you can find me on. I do have something to plug, actually. Yes. Uh, well, first of all, uh, Twitter, Instagram is ProfPod and the Tiny Shutter Podcast. Which I'm a co-host on. Uh, find it at tinyshutter.com. Go check it out. I've listened to a little bit of that. 
So some good stuff. And Mad Mike, of course, is Mad Mike. Oh, that that that's not the camera. That's a couch. Mad Mike is Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitters. He needs to say something so the camera comes up. And uh, and he's he's very opinionated over there and and often oh, on the Mayhem yeah. show I, as well. Um, starting Wednesday, I will be doing a countdown to Lucha Underground. Oh yes. I don't know how I'm gonna be celebrating it. I'm. Still... I may just be talking about my seven favorite moments from Lucha Underground, which I have not pulled out of my brain yet. But actually, that's a really good idea. So I may do that. I need to get my uh, iTunes purchase in. I know. I know it was announced that it came up. You can get your subscription already. For Lucha Underground Season 4. So, again, I'm going to be probably next morning. So, it's going to be Thursday mornings. I'm going to eat some pancakes and watch Lucha Underground Sorg, every week. I will, and then Sorg, we will, I will podcast. Wake the, I will wake the fuck up with you and watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because, uh, oh, um, the live tweeting for Lucha Underground yes, will be returning. Yes. So, yes. so <laughs> and then the live morning retweet. Oh, the Lucha Underground will be yeah. happening when I watch it on iTunes because I don't think I have access to it live yet. So, uh, but we will be getting that on. Uh, I'm just glad there's options. Uh, real quick, Tina K said uh, 45 minutes. Uh, Wheel said zero. He didn't watch it. He has, he has other things to do on Monday nights. Uh, uh, Larry says Nia Jax is that one wrestler who has uh, had garbage creative for the last two months. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or a different uh, writer. Maybe. It's also Sami Zayn. Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre. They should have, really a lot of people on Raw. There you go. They should have reunited the Major Brothers for the Tag Battle Royal. Isn't Zach yeah, they hurt? Should. I think Zach's that, hurt. Zach's probably hurt, yeah. but it's a Battle Royal. Who would know? Just hanging out with Chelsea uh, Green on his Instagram. Um, and go to the wedding of John Morrison. And, and in uh, other news, the Bumblebee Sunny. trailer comes out tomorrow to make me oh. sad again. Oh, Sword, come on. You don't want to hear... John Cena do his best Mark Wahlberg impression? You couldn't make me happy with uh, what's his face and we're not getting fucking started, Mike. Guys, thank sorry, you so sorry, much. I it is sorry. a raw rap. I think it's going to be good. I have no I have no faith. I have no faith left. Okay. No. I'm just going to keep right. watching the 1985 movie over and over again until it feels better. All right, Sorg, you got the touch, you got the power. <laughs> mhm. Mhm. I can dare. You can dare too. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time on the Rop Out. Rop Out. Keep it raw. <laughs> <laughs>